The figure four stretch is a great stretch to release your piriformis muscle, which is a deep hip rotator. Oftentimes, if that muscle is tight or tense, it can lead to what feels like SI joint pain, piriformis syndrome, hip pain, or even sciatica, which is a sharp shooting pain down the back of the leg. So to get into this muscle, we want to use a couple different options. You can do this lying on your back, you can do it in sitting, and I'm gonna show you the variation of lying on your back. So in this position, you are going to lie down on your back, and then you are gonna take your right ankle and cross it over your left knee. So the hip that you're gonna feel the stretch is the right side, the leg that's crossed. You can use your hands to scoop through the thighs if you're not able to reach all the way through, use a strap or a towel. And then you're gonna bring your left knee and thigh up towards you. So with your hands looped through, grab behind the thigh and let that left leg relax. So the figure four is because it, it kind of looks like you're making a four with your legs. But in this position, keep the shin nice and straight for that crossed leg and you'll feel the stretch in the right thigh. And you just wanna hold it here. You're not gripping and tightening. You're just taking big, deep, soft breath and feeling the stretch in your right hip. Good, deep breath in and relax. Deep breath in and relax. For a deeper stretch, you can use your right elbow to push your right thigh down and you'll feel an even deeper stretch. You can also bring those left that left leg closer to you to get deeper into the right hip. So we're gonna lower this down. Let's repeat that on the other side. So uncross your leg. You're gonna cross your left ankle over your right knee. And then again, reach your arms through the thigh and then you're gonna bring the right leg up. Again, use a strap or a towel to kind of extend your reach if you need to go behind the thigh. Bring the right knee up and you're gonna feel that stretch in the left hip. Now the tendency is that hip's gonna wanna come up, right? Cause that muscle's tight. So you wanna make sure that knee is pressed away from you. And that's where this little left elbow can come in to keep it in a nice position. Big deep breath here. You may find that one side is tighter than the other. That is very common. Big deep breaths. Soften your shoulders. Soften your forehead. And again, you can use that left elbow to press that left thigh down to get a deeper stretch on that side. One more breath here. Good. We're gonna lower that leg back down. Now, you can hold each stretch on each side for about five to 10 big deep breaths, and you can repeat that as often as you'd like throughout the day.